The concept of genius is something that I was really intrigued by. The execution is not as good as it could have been. I didn't mind watching it. I probably won't ever watch it again. This is a Disney film released in 1999, directed by Rod Daniel with a screenplay by John Reek. And this stars Trevor Morgan as a young boy called Charlie. And he has an incredible IQ. He's very intelligent. He goes off to university or college at, I think, I think it's five years before he, you know, should have done. And he even has to teach one of the physics classes. And while he's there, he realises that he, you know, the gap in his life, he may be massively intelligent, but he doesn't really know what it feels like to hang out with kids his own age and to have a proper childhood. So he comes up with this alias called Chaz and decides to leave this double life where he attends a high school under the alias of Chaz. And it's all about how long he can get away with being two people and ultimately, well, I say ultimately, I think there are two things here. For me, part of, the, part of my takeaway was be true to who you are and don't worry what people think. That is certainly part of it. But I think ultimately, the message here is enjoy being young while you can and don't miss out on important life opportunities. Children are very quick to grow up. Obviously, it's a slightly different situation here because he's got an incredible IQ but it shows that you know you can be incredibly intelligent, but it's still really important to enjoy being a child and to have those milestones and those experiences. So that's what I took away from it. The narrative itself, it largely centered around ice hockey, and I don't care about ice hockey. So I think maybe for me, that's one of the reasons why it wasn't as thrilling as it could have been. I do think Morgan was brilliant. He played both roles of Charles and Chaz very well to the point where I found it was actually easy to forget that it was the same actor playing these, well, playing the same character, but with two personalities. Brilliant performance there. I really think the casting worked really well. There wasn't really anything in it that didn't work for me. I just think it's that the narrative wasn't as good as it could have been. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't funny. I don't think it's a comedy. It's not so dramatic that it's a drama and it's not that romantic so it's a family film I guess is the only way that I can call it and I do think there's something in it for pretty much all ages it does feel like a late 90s low budget Disney film um I'll see if I can find out what the budget is the budget for this film according to IMDb that information is actually not available, which is weird because usually it is. So I don't know what the budget was, but you know I didn't mind watching it. It's on Disney Plus. Give it a watch if you want something easy and relaxing. It's not that in depth. Not a bad watch for a one-time thing.